good morning student today we will learn how to make the ping pong ball game in scratch you must have heard played about it now to give a quick recap i'll show you how this game works go to the full screen click the flag when i click the flag it is showing me this screen which is you can see the starting screen where the name of the game is displayed and some instructions are there and a button where you have to click to play the game so i'm clicking on that and here my game is as you can see that when i'm touching the ball with the paddle or when my paddle is touching the ball my score is incrementing and as i finish with the 10 my winner screen appears so this is what we have to code so there are number of things we have to consider we'll take them one by one so start with the very first thing take a new file and as i have shown you that there were three screens or you can say three backdrops the first one the starting screen where the name of the game was there and some instruction with the starting button and the second one was where i played the game so that is the playing area playing backdrop and the third one was the winner screen in case the player is winning he get the their screen so right now i do not want this cat so i'm going to delete this you can see this bin icon click on that and your sprite will be deleted by default it is always there when you start with a new file so for choosing the backdrop i'll click on this backdrop option you can see the backdrop is written here so click and choose your backdrop for the instruction or starting screen i will choose blue sky then for playing my game i'll take stars and for the winner screen i'll take the spotlight okay now click on this go to backdrops now you have four backdrops this one i do not want so click and delete it now on this i'm going to write the name of the game So for writing, I click on the text tool. You can see that when you hover a mouse, it will show you the name of all the tools. This is the text tool. Click where you want to type the name of the game. So I I can any time change the color. For that, I'm going to select this text. and then i am going to change the color let me change the size and if you want to change the font type you can always do that okay so you can position it and when you position it you can see the position exact position how will it going to look how will it going to look on the screen after that type the instructions Eight five two win the game. Let me finish it over here, and then I'm going to create. Uh, first of all, a button is left. We'll create that. But let me finish with this, where I'm going to type winner. Or oh, right, or you can type a message if you want. Click on that. and increase the size okay now i want i do not want to type any text on this one because this is my playing area where my sprites are going to be there 
creating the button i have to click on sprite and i am going to create my own button so i'll create with paint take your rectangle tool and draw your button you can position it you can see that the position is changing a little bit like this or more fine and then to type the text just click here now when you're typing the text notice that the color of the text is also the same which is the color of the button so you need to change it otherwise the text will not be visible i'm taking this color click and type Just whatever you have done. Right now, what do you want? When you click on this button, this button, this should bring your playing area. So for that, you have to code. So click on this, and you are saying when you're clicking on this area first of all you start with the screen flag when you click for the very first time you will click on this green button so when you click on this green button you want out of your three backdrops only this starting backdrop or starting screen should appear so for the you will go to event take this one when you click on this green flag what should it do it should uh, only always start with the starting screen so go to loops switch backdrop to you can name them always because it is confusing so let me tell you how to name them click one so more over here go to backdrops click here and you can see that this blue sky too is seen just like this so just change the name here type start this one click and type playing area or simply area then this one is the winner screen so instead of spotlight type winner Code. So you said click on this, uh, not in this sprite. Okay, you have to code with the backdrop. Go to events, select when clicked, when this flag is clicked, you want to show the things. So go to looks. Switch backdrop to start. Okay, so this is the starting screen. And then, suppose uh, right now I'm choosing my winner screen. So, accordingly, according to my code, it should get the starting screen. So, let me click on the flag. Okay, so this is done. Now, what uh, you want, you want when you click on this button, it should take you to the playing area. Okay, so you need to code this again. So go to code and click on events. Take when this sprite is clicked, you are going to switch to next backdrop. Switch to area. So let me check. Okay, fine. Now I am in my playing area, but what is the problem? Yes, you are right. This button should not be here. It should be hidden. Okay. So what you have to do? You have to hide it. So, 
so when this uh, flag is clicked again you have to take this and then this this button should be hidden so go to looks and find out hidden now when it is going to be visible you have to tell that as well so it will be visible only when in area, uh, your starting screen is there okay so so you are going to show it when the background backdrop is the starting point okay so looks we are going to show it when the backdrop is the starting one so you will say when now if you want to hide you have to show as well now in which case it is going to be hidden this button is going to be hidden and in which case it is going to be shown it is going to be hidden when you are entering to the playing area so hide when the backdrop switches to area and when you are going to show it when this flag is clicked so test test again now when you click on this button this is appearing and when you click on it and enters this area this disappears this is what you want okay we are done with this now the next thing is to add the next sprite or our ball click on this sprite choose your ball and now you want your ball to be top on the top okay so take it over here why i want my ball to be on the top because over here i'm going to draw or take my red line if it is near to the red line it is going to touch there are more chances likely to touch this red line and you will be um, will you will, will not be able to play the game so it is always better to keep your ball at the top now you need to uh, move the ball and it should move randomly in all the directions okay so first of all you have to fix the position so whenever you are going to start the game your ball should be at top at this particular position so click on events when the ball when you click on this flag the ball should be here right now the position of the ball is minus 75 and 152 see when i move the ball you can see that the there are changes into the position right now the current position is minus 113 and 153 earlier it was minus 75 and 175 okay somewhere here okay right now after fixing i am going to tilt my ball point to a particular direction otherwise it's going to uh, move to the left side or right side only so i'm going to point it by 45 degrees okay otherwise it is going to take only this direction this direction this and this 45 degree will take you to this corner this corner this and there will be more fine after that i want my ball to move so move my ball and then i want this to move forever right if i click on this my ball is only going to move okay one more thing when i click on this flag my ball is appearing on my introductory screen or the starting screen which i already don't want okay so to fix this problem what you have to do you have to say when click i want when i click this flag this ball should be hidden so go to looks and hide the ball